A simple show with a simple premise. Do good things and good things happen to you. Do bad things and it'll come back to haunt you. That's deep, Earl. I'm talking about karma. Who's karma? I don't know, something Carson Daly came up with. A show with a pure message of trying to do better in life that captured the world's attention before being unceremoniously ripped away from our screens and leaving the show on a cliffhanger. Hi, I'm Popey JN, this is Beyond the Screen, and today we're having a look at the everlasting impact of... My name is Earl. My name is Earl Rem from 2005 to 2009 and followed the life of Earl Hickey, a once criminal lowlife who, after winning a large sum of money, attempts to turn his life around by making a list of all of his wrongdoings and one by one going to make up for them. The simplest way to break down for those who have never seen an episode of My Name Is Earl what it's all about and to help them understand is by breaking down the first episode. Earl, who is a scumbag criminal and thorn on society. Hell, I'll pretty much steal anything that isn't nailed down. Wins a hundred thousand dollars in the lottery. Son of a bitch! Woohoo! Woohoo! But after winning the money, is immediately hit by a car and hospitalized. While in hospital, Earl sees an episode of Carson Daly's show on TV discussing karma. That's how I try and live my life. You do good things, and good things happen to you. You do bad things, and it'll come back to haunt you. Karma. Karma. There it was. The secret of life coming straight from Carson Daly's lips to my morphine-laced ears. Earl realizes that he has put more bad into the world than good, and attempts to make things right so that good things might start happening for himself. So he makes a list of everyone he has ever wronged in his life, and he ventures out with his brother Randy to fix his first item on the list. If I want a better life, I need to be a better person. What's this? I made a list of everything bad I've ever done. Why? Why? Randy, I just won $100,000 in the lottery and was immediately hit by a car. I almost died because something good happened to me that I didn't deserve. That karma stuff is gonna kill me unless I make up for everything on that list. He attempts to make things right with Kenny, a man who Earl savagely bullied during their youth. After discovering that Kenny is a lonely man, Earl attempts to help by setting Kenny up on a date. He was lonely. There was something special missing in his life that every man needs to feel whole. I gotta get him laid. What? Kenny! I made him feel bad his whole childhood. If I want to cross him off my list, I gotta make him feel good. But Earl's worldviews are shook when he discovers that Kenny is gay. I know this might sound crazy in this day and age, but we live in a small town and I've never been face to face with a gay before. I understand now the running probably wasn't necessary. After turning his back on the list, Earl starts to experience bad karma again. What happened? Karma. Karma happened. And I believed it too. Think about it. As soon as I decided not to help Kenny, Joy broke into my room and beat me up with a phone. This forces Earl to face his fear and takes Kenny out to a gay bar and helps Kenny to discover that he's not alone and he has nothing to fear. Leading Kenny to tell Earl. You have helped me. Look, my whole life, I've been scared to be who I really am because of what people might think. But then Earl Hickey brought me to a gay bar. Earl Hickey went to Express for Men and bought me a shirt. Earl Hickey, the one man I was the most scared of in my whole life, has accepted me as I am. Look, when we were kids, you took away my confidence, but today you gave it back. Thanks, Earl. You can cross me off your list. 
This single episode highlights everything good about the show. Not only do we get to see Earl genuinely help someone, but we as the audience also get to see how the list helps Earl, and the list also forces Earl to face his own bigoted ways to help him achieve the quest of becoming a better person. What's fascinating about the show is how it's endured over time. Season 4 ended on a cliffhanger and a big to be continued text on the screen. However, season 5 never came. However, despite it being off the air for 14 years, it is still a series that resonates with fans all over the world. And the, the network world. called the studio and said, we want to license the show for another year. And the studio said, well, we want more money. We want to renegotiate our deal with you. And the network basically did not respond for two weeks. And then the studio called back and said, we'll take your deal. And the network said, too late. Really? The show is canceled. What the fuck? There's probably not four days that goes by without somebody messaging me on Instagram. I'm like, sure. What happened to Earl? Or some people thinking it's my fault. Like, dude, you left us stranded. What the hell? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not NBC. I didn't cancel the show, man. Yeah. It was I'm out of my it. hands. But Greg Garcia, the creator of the show, he's still my friend. He's What he did with that show is incredible. Yeah. He showed up on set one day and said, hey, I have bad news, guys. It looks like we're getting canceled. Wow. Ooh. So like, you know, clean out your lockers kind of vibe and we're out of here. And if you look below in the comments, you'll find some of the most humbling stories and messages from fans all over the world, expressing what the show means to them to this day. Comments such as, Honestly, my name is Earl changed my life as well. While I do not have a list, I still follow the rules of karma, and it was all thanks to Earl. I work with addicts and alcoholics at a homeless shelter, and I have them watch the show and we discuss how Earl can relate to us. It's clear looking at all these comments along with several others that are not included on screen, that the simple message of my name is Earl touched a lot of people and actually helped a lot of people reconcile things in their own lives and help them along their journey. It's an indelible mark that will still be felt for years to come by people who either remember the show fondly or find it on streaming services as time goes by. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching another episode of Beyond the Screen. Did you ever watch My Name is Earl? And if so, what are your memories of it? I'd love to hear some of those memories down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.